Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. For today's video, I'm going to be doing a grocery haul. My dining room table is just filled with groceries right now. And so I'm going to, in a second, flip this around and show you all the groceries I got. So first of all, I wanted to kind of come on here and talk to you guys about how often I grocery shop and how I save money and all of that. We shop at Kroger. It just seems like they have the best deals. Um, we have the Kroger app and we upload digital coupons very frequently before I do any kind of shopping. I will hop on there and look for any coupons of anything that I'm going to get. Uh, sometimes I will even look at it before I do my grocery list so that I can kind of cater it to things that are on sale right now. I also check out the weekly ads and then the Kroger Buy 5 Save 5 are really good deals. I just basically buy what's on sale that week, but I always go to the store with the plan with a full grocery list and I try to stick to it. And I also meal plan our meals and also I just looked in the viewfinder. I did not wear this to the store. When I get home, it's just like, I need to be in comfortable clothes. <laughs> so at the store, I was wearing not this and I have on pajama pants right now, but I was not wearing this at the store. It's like 30 degrees outside where we live and so I would be crazy to wear this to the store. So I'm just comfortable right now, but I thought I would just address that so you guys don't think I'm crazy for going out in 30 degree weather in a tank top. As I was saying, I do create a grocery list and a meal plan before going to the store because I go grocery shopping every Thursday. And so when I do our little meal plan, I will write down each day of the week and what we are going to have. Now, I typically leave a day or two blank because I know that we'll have leftover some nights or there will be typically one night a week that we do eat out. This grocery haul, first of all, there aren't many snack foods because um, I like to stay pretty stocked. Sometimes I do go to like Sam's and get a bunch of like the big packs of snacks for our kids. Our kids have a snack drawer so they can help themselves. There is no produce in this grocery haul because I went to a different Kroger than what I typically go to, just one that's closer to my house. I typically will drive a little bit farther away because it's just a nicer Kroger. Their produce looked awful, so I did not get any produce from there. So for this week for dinners, we are having one night pizza. I think that is gonna be actually tonight because we're just gonna have a relaxing family game night, watch Christmas movies, and do something simple so that we don't take a lot of time up cooking. So I think we're gonna do the pizzas tonight. They are the Red Baron ones. They were three for 10 at Kroger. I also got some meatballs for Tyler. I fixed those in the crock pot for him. I'm thinking of fixing them tonight for him because he's been wanting them for a really long time. All you do is put um, a container of grape jelly, um, the bag of meatballs and some barbecue sauce in the crock pot and cook it for a few hours and they're really good. Tyler loves them. They're one of his favorites, but I don't fix them that often and so he requested those and I got those for him. We are having hot dogs and tater tots one night this week. We are also going to be having taco soup one night. I'm trying to think. I should have brought my notebook to tell you guys. We are going to be having hash brown casserole and I actually already had the ingredients for that. And then we also got stuff for quesadillas. All right guys, so I feel like I have rambled on long enough, but I did just wanna let you guys know how I grocery shop for our family. There are five people in our family, how I meal plan and how I try to save money on our groceries. So without further ado, I'm gonna flip the camera around and show you guys everything that I got. Also, I don't have a specific budget in mind because it varies week to week, how much we need to get, if we need to get the kids snacks, if we need to get extra things, um, because I don't do like a separate grocery budget and then also like hygiene needs or anything like that. I just kind of do it all together. And with this grocery haul, we ended up spending $148. And that may seem like a lot, but I also had to get a birthday present for my brother. His birthday party is Tuesday, and I got him a birthday card as well as a $25 GameStop gift card. So that was added in there. I also needed to get paper plates, some dishcloths, Christmas lights, and you'll see the other extra stuff that I had to get, but I just really quickly wanted to say that. And now I'm gonna turn the camera around, I promise. 
All right, here is everything, guys. I think we're just gonna start back here. We did get some sodas for Tyler and I. I got the Diet Pepsi and he got Mountain Dew. They were buy one, get one free, so they ended up being like $8 for all of them. We have some ground beef for dinners this week. One will be for the taco soup. One will be, or actually two of these will be for the taco soup. And then one will be for Sloppy Joe's. We got some sausage for breakfast this week. Some bacon. One of these will be for the Sloppy Joe recipe and the other is just for breakfast. I got some beef hot dogs. This is some carved chicken breast that we will use for quesadillas. This big thing of cheese slices was on sale for $5, so I got that because we go through some cheese in this house. I got the kids some apple juice. This is Kinsley's favorite drink. She loves these. They are the Tropicana Essentials Probiotics, and this is the strawberry and banana. I got Tyler some Ready Leaf Sweet Tea. These are Tyler's Pop-Tarts. I got the kids some chocolate fudge brownies to help fix with me tonight. Some syrup. This is the grape jam and the barbecue sauce for the meatballs, and there's the meatballs. I got some Paw Patrol Chef Boyardee. Raiden really likes those. And some of the SpaghettiOs with Franks. Tomato soup, another thing of tomato soup. Butter. You guys, these are my addiction right now. I love these so much. They are so good. I'm not good about sharing them, but I love those. I got two boxes of Hot Pockets, the pepperoni pizza kind. I was actually craving these, so I picked some of those up. Back here we have some golden tater tots that we will eat. Sometimes we'll just eat them for lunch with grilled cheese, and I figured we could also eat them with the hot dogs this week. So we got hot dogs, some tortillas for the quesadillas. That rhymed, Oh. I got queso quesadilla shredded cheese, Colby Jack shredded cheese, and some smoke flavored provolone. The kids wanted some pancakes, and we just went with the Eggos this week. I got some paper plates, because sometimes it's just so much easier to do paper plates. Judge me if you want, but as a mom, these are like a saving grace sometimes. Aluminum foil, we just needed some of that. Some dish soap. Over here are the pizzas that we picked out. Um, I got this classic crust sausage and pepperoni pizza that I thought looked really good and Tyler would like. The kids got this four cheese pizza, and then I also picked out, this is like one that we always get, and it's the brick oven pepperoni pizza. I had to get dryer sheets. I picked up these dishcloths. I was just needing some new ones, and they were really cute, and so I picked those up. And then I, if you guys seen in my last video, I think it was, or it was my minimalist Christmas video, half the bottom of the tree was blown out, and I didn't even realize it, so I picked up some more Christmas lights to put at the bottom of our tree. All right, you guys, so that is everything. Like I said, we spent $148, but basically like $35 of that was for my brother's birthday. And as you can see, I got some extra stuff. So I would say food-wise, we spent about $100, which is a really good budget, I think, for our family of five. I know it's not the best, but you know, and this is definitely not the healthiest grocery haul but that is what we got i hope you guys enjoyed this video i haven't done one of these grocery hauls in a really long time so let me know if you guys enjoyed this one and i could definitely do more in the future if you want me to thank you so much for watching and we'll see you guys next time bye